So this problem, you might not recognize what type of problem is it, it is at the start, but we know we have barium hydroxide. We have its molarity and its volume. We know barium hydroxide is a base and I'm gonna go ahead and just write it out to be sure. I also know that I am adding water to it and I have another volume. The fact that I'm just adding water to a solution should make you know it's a dilution, right? How do we dilute things? By adding water. Another way, like more mathematically of knowing, is we're giving two volumes and a molarity. We wanna find pH, which we can find from a second molarity. So here we are doing M1V1, M2V2. Um, let me change my colors actually. The original solution that's not diluted is everything I currently have in pink. So M1V1, they actually give us a molarity, which is nice. They give us a volume. They also give us a volume of water. That means after I dilute it, I started with that 25, but I've added another 120. So I have 145 milliliters after the dilution. And if I can solve for an M2, I should be good. But what I currently have here is actually, there's actually a mistake and this, this feels tricky for sure. Remember that in M1V1, M2V2, if we are diluting a base, the molarities that we're using here have to, have to, have to be of OH. And the molarity that I currently plugged in there, that's not of OH, that's of my barium hydroxide. So I have to do a ratio before I even start this problem. Barium hydroxide splits into barium and two hydroxides. I currently have the molarity of the barium hydroxide, but I want the molarity of the hydroxide. So multiplying by want over have, coefficient of what we want over coefficient of what we have, 0.4 is actually my molarity of my hydroxide there. So I need to be using 0.4. I won't have to deal with that ratio on the back end of this problem because when I solve for the molarity, it will be the molarity of my OH minus, which will let me find my POH and my pH. But you have to start that problem with the ratio. Um, again, why do you have to use a ratio? Because the rule, that it's just a rule for M1V1, M2V2, the molarity, if we're working with a base, barium hydroxide base, the molarity has to be of OH that you plug in can't be of anything else. So doing the actual math on this now, M1V1 equals M2V2. Again, make sure you used 145 for V2 because we're looking at the total volume after dilution. In my calculator, I type 0. 0.4 times 25 divided by 145. I get an M2 of 0. 0.069. A reminder that that is the molarity of my hydroxide. So when I negative log it, I'll have found the pOH. Negative log of 0.069. I use the number exactly in my calculator, so I'm getting a pOH of 1.16. Subtracting from 14 will be how I get pH, which is what they asked for, 12.83. We can see, does this answer make sense? 12.84, uh, actually, if I round properly. Um, well, I had a base and I diluted it. It should still be basic. It is, it's above seven, but it should be closer to seven than it was before on the pH scale. I don't actually have my pH from beforehand, but if I wanted to find it, I could and compare. Um, the fact that we ended up still with a basic pH makes sense here.